What's up YouTubers, Hardworker12 here. Uh, gonna make a quick video today showing you how to use Android Auto on your car if it is so equipped. I happen to be sitting in a 2019 Subaru Crosstrek that does have Android Auto, uh, but this is pretty standard along most cars. So step one, we're gonna have to hook the phone up to the Bluetooth. So I'm gonna go phone, I'm gonna hit yes, connect, and then I'm gonna go into my phone, and I'm gonna go into the settings, and I'm gonna go network and internet, and I am going to go connected devices, Bluetooth, Subaru BT pairing. And I'm gonna hit pair, and I'm gonna hit confirm. And I'm going to hit download contacts, and I'm going to hit yes, give it all the permissions, and we're hooked up. So now it's time to hook up the Android Auto. So for this car, and I think at this point for most cars, you do have to plug in uh, the Android device to the, to the USB port in the car. In this one, it's in the center console and it's the bottom USB port. If you have two, make sure you're plugging it into the data one. So now we get this message, welcome to Android Auto, get started. And what will Android Auto do? Excellent, continue. And you have to download the app from the Google Play Store. So we are going to download. This takes just a moment. Okay, so now the app is downloaded. We have to go through kind of the setup. So we hit continue, and then you have to allow it to do a bunch of things. So just allow, 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 continue. Okay, so notification access. I've found that you... To make this work, you just kind of have to allow everything to work. And now we're doing some setups. Tell me about my day, blah, 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 blah. Continue. Continue. All right, so now Android Auto is active on the screen. And we have to skip, and we have recent calls and everything. All right, Google Alert, got it. And it's pulling everything up. Okay, so once Android Auto is hooked up, we can do some pretty cool stuff with it. This little icon right here is for Google Maps, so if I touch that, it'll bring me to the maps. And the main way that you're going to work with Android Auto when you're driving your car is through voice commands. So on any car that's going to have this, you're going to have a button on the steering wheel somewhere that will activate voice commands. In this particular car, it's what I call the talkie face button. Some cars, it may be a microphone. So if I push this button, find me a pizza place. And then it thinks about it. Hey, Larry's Pizza is two minutes away. So if you want to go to a pizza shop, you just touch there and it'll give you directions. Of course, you can also tell it to take you to an address. Go to 2775 Mesa Verde Drive East, Costa Mesa, California. All right, 2775 Mesa Verde Drive, East, let's go. My phone fell off my leg. And there we go. It's giving us directions to the address we wanted to go to. So let's say while we're looking at our maps, somebody sends us a text message. I don't know if you heard it there, but you get a little boop boop, double beep. So what you do is you hit this little home button right here and it'll show that we have a message from Larry Larson. We can hit play. Larry Larson says, hey, hello, dude. Do you want to reply? Yes. 
What's the message? Hey, Larry, how are you today? Question mark. Here's your text to Larry Larson. Hey, Larry, how are you today? Do you want to send it or change it? Send. Okay. Message sent. So now we've sent the message, and as you can see, Larry gets the message. So that's how you can text. If you want to uh, actively text somebody instead of just responding, again, hit the voice control button. Text Larry Larson and tell him I'll be there in 20 minutes. Here's your text to Larry Larson. I'll be there in 20 minutes. Do you want to send it or change it? Send. Okay. Message sent. So then the message gets sent, and as you can see, it shows up on Larry's phone. So that's how you can text and drive legally and safely using your Android Auto system. The other little things you can do with this, if you hit the phone, you can look at your phone calls. Um, if you go here to the headphones, eventually you can look at your Google Play Music or your podcast if you have those things. And then if you push this little uh, kind of speedometer gas gauge looking button, you return to Subaru and then you're back on the car's kind of phone system and everything. So that's how you do that. And if you want to make a phone call, you can always just hit that and say call Larry Larson as well when you're on the Android Auto. And then of course we can go to our apps, go back to Android Auto and look at it again. Look at the maps, whatever we want. So that's a little overview on how to set up and use Android Auto. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you didn't, also please like and subscribe. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.